Hello people and welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use badges in your game. Oh, you don't know what badges you may ask. Badges are awards that are like achievements from the game. Now this can be used for reaching a goal like joining the game for the first time or meeting a developer for the first time or getting your first win for the first time. Now let's go ahead and show you how to use badges. Alright, enjoy. So first up, what you're going to do is we're going to create a badge. Now before we do that, make sure your game has to be published to Roblox. And just give it a good name so you can just remember it. Now let's go ahead and go to game settings and go to monetization and that is where you're going to make your badges. Let's go ahead and create a badge and make sure your target experiences is matched with your game. Now let's go ahead and put the badge name, the badge description, and the badge image. Oh, and make sure your picture is 512 times 512 pixel image, or a squam image. Once everything is good to go, you have created your own badge for free. But if it's like a hundred robux... Uh, since we made our own badge, let's go ahead and make a script where a player joins a game. They will get the badge. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a player added function. So we can do game dot players dot player added colon connect to a function and inside that we're going to put the player in it. Now once we've done that, let's go ahead and put game colon get service colon bad service, which is a service about badges. And then we're going to do colon award badges. And this is where we're going to award the player the badge. Now the awards badge has two requirements, and one is the player's user ID, which is definitely important. And the second requirement is the badge ID. Now, uh, so to get the badge ID, let's go ahead and go to uh, game settings and monetization. And as you can see, we have the three dots right here. So we're going to click that copy ID to clipboard. And it's already on your clipboard. So we're going to go back to the script and then we're going to do control V. And that is how you get the badge ID and that will actually give the player the correct badge. Now since we've done that, let's go ahead and test it, shall we? But I'm already at studio, so let's go ahead and and press play. Now as you can see, I haven't actually earned it because you didn't see the notification. But if I go to my uh, place right here, it says that I actually own the badge. So definitely means if I join the game, I actually earn the badge. Now sometimes you don't want that and you just want something a little bit different. So we're going to make a part that gives you a badge. Let's go ahead and make another badge. Nice. Since we made that, let's go ahead and insert a part and insert a script inside the part. All right, so first off we're going to do is we're going to make a touch function, which is going to be script.parent.touch, colon connect to a function, and which we're going to put inside the function is the hit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the player, so we're going to try to put local player. So we have to pick the actual player, so local player, and then equals game dot players colon get player from character, and we're going to put hit dot parent. Now we're going to do is put if player, then we're going to put game colon get service colon badge service, and then we're going to award the badge, and then we're going to do the player dot user id so we're gonna get their user id and then we're gonna get the badge id so game settings this 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 bam yo let's go ahead and test it shall we so now i'm at here and i see this part over here so if i touch this one and you can see we got we got the badge award and we got the part badge so i made this and the bottom part represents like the door, and this image represents the required badge that you need to go through. Now let's go ahead and insert a script in the door. So the first time what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, script.parent.touch uh, connect to a function in which will be the hit. Now we're making a, a touch function, so we're going to get the actual player by doing this. Getting that player's one. Uh, uh, get player from character, which is going to be hit dot parent. And now I'm going to say if player, then so we, if it's an actual player, then we're going to put is if uh, game colon get service, which is going to be the bad service, 
and then colon user has badge async meaning if they have a specific badge then we're going to get their player.user id and then we're going to find the badge id if they the player has the actual badge so i'm we're going to find the player that has the part badge right here so i'm going to copy that and paste it over here then if they do then uh, they are a gamer of course else if they don't they are a loser now nah, i won't say that to my fans but for real though if they have the badge then we're going to say script.parent.transparency and then we're going to put it in a half and then what we're going to do is we're going to set their can collide to false so they can easily get in the, the door and then for a half a second then we're going to set it back to zero and then set the can collide uh to true so meaning the door is officially closed else if they don't have it then the same thing close it to and yeah let's go ahead and uh test it shall we all right so here's a bot right here so if i try getting it uh, by the way i do have the, the the part badge so if i get into that part as you can see i'm at the oh what the and there you have it that's me showing how to use badges for your games and you can use it anytime you want and if you enjoy it please like the video otherwise subscribe for more roblox studio content and i'll see you in the next video peace out <laughs>